have been called Mr. Kipling, Big Driss, Big Driss the Londoner. When I was doing that circuit, I was telling you about where it was more like hip hop clubs in Miami and Atlanta. They'd be like, Big Driss in the building. And that stuck, but now it's just Idris. So, so my DJ name is Idris Elba, <laughs> period. <laughs> Maybe talk to me about how you kind of approach your set. If I'm really honest, so I was going to put it out there, like, you know, the reaction to me DJing at Coachella was, uh, what? It was on CNN. Idris Elba's DJing at Coachella this year, and it's going to be amazing. I'm like, yeah, if you like my kind of music. <laughs> like, even really famous musicians are like, oh, I'm going to go listen to Idris DJ. And I was like, wait a second. I play really hard, you know, cerebral. Yeah. Tech, you know, like, bum. Yeah. One of the things that drives me as a DJ is that I want people to walk away and go, I expected him to be shit, but he was all right. <laughs> because I'm a DJ, I'm an actor, and yeah. people just go, I don't know. And people do prefer you to stay in your lane. So I really challenge myself to give people the experience that they weren't expecting. So how would you describe your style? Groovy tech. Yeah. I like, you know, the big build-ups, the quiet moments. I like throwing in classics. You know, I'll throw in a classic classic that's cheesy, but right next to something that's proper hard and obscure. Yeah. It's one thing to love the creative process of making music, but most people have to make a choice at some point, and you're pushing it with both, you know, all cylinders on both fronts. You know, you, 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 don't, you don't go, I'm an actor and I just want to play footballers, thank you very much. I think there's a, with an actor, you know, you aren't relying on who you are as your authenticity. Your authenticity comes from how good you play the role. And with music, it tends to be that house producers make house best. But what we're finding now, you're seeing now that there is the hyphenates. For sure. Diplo, um, Skrillex, those are people that I respect. And that for me is liberating. And when did you start seriously pursuing the acting? No, I, I, was, I was acting from 94, 93, 94. Got it. The acting was great and I was doing my thing and then yeah. I decided I wanted to go to the, the States to pursue it. You know, I went through a really sort of slow period in, in the States. It was tough. Yeah. And the only thing that kept me really going was, you know, I was DJing, I was doing a bit of door work. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I paid my dues, there's no doubt about that. What's it like being the most sexiest DJ? No, no, no. Sexiest man, bro. Let's just, <laughs> let's just get this right. Yes, I was trying to... That's it, I'm out. <laughs>